So, Hurdaya Vidya, yesterday we saw that what is the meaning of Hurdayam, which is not the same as Maam Sapend Hurdayam and Anahata Chakram. Both are not the Hurdayam. Hayam means here he is the heart. So, Paramatma alone is Ishwara alone, the Suddha Atma alone is called as Hurdayam. It is not, during the sadhana time, one can say that self is in the heart, but after awakening to the truth, one would realize self is heart. So, this we saw. Now, having said this, where is this heart located? This is a question now. So, therefore, here, very beautiful thing. Evam anahata rakta pindat cha anyadeva hurdayam pratipadya sva anubhava drushtam atmavit sammatam tasya sthanam nirdishati. Having explained and told clearly that the heart is other than anahata chakram and other than the physical pumping organ, having pratipadya, having proposed, propounded this, from the standpoint of his own experience, Bhagavan Ramana Maharishi, also as, what you call, accepted by the knowers of the self, as it is the experience of the knowers of the self, now the place of the heart is pointed out. What is it now? Tasya dakshaneto dhama Rutpite naiva vamataha Tasmat pravahati jyotihi Sahasraram sushumnaya Tasya dakshinato dhama rutpite naiva vamataha tasmat pravahati jyotihi sahasraram sushumnaya Tasya. Now see, Tasya hurdayasya of the heart rutpite meaning hurdaya pite Vaksha palake dakshinato dhama dakshina bhage sthanam bhavati. So, the heart is located in the right side of the chest, not on the left side. Which heart? Spiritual heart. What is the pramana? Not only Bhagavan Ramana Maharishi, in Purva Granthas. In some places in other literature, it has been said that the heart is on the right side, the spiritual heart, and it is not on the left side. So, on the right side, Hrut Pithe, expansive chest to the right side, this heart is situated. Which one? Spiritual heart or the Yam. Na e naiva vamataha. Vama bhage purvokte raktapinde naiva bhavati. So 
so it is not the heart of raktapind the heart pumping organ the blood pumping organ the heart physical heart it is not the heart of spiritual heart very clearly said now nirnayarthaka eva karaha so dakshina dakshita nai tasya dakshinato dhama hrutpite na eva vamatah eva means certitude certainly it is not at all in the left side it is only on the right side eva eva karaha eva na eva vamatah na vam na vamatah not on left side na eva vamatah it is never pakka certainly it is not on the left side now now here from here onwards tasmat hrutpita dakshina bhaga sthitata hrudayat so is that the heart which is seated on the expansive chest of the right side chest that heart from that heart there is a in upanishad also speaks about sahasranadya and one nadi goes up from the heart to sahasrara it is called sushumna nadi now so sushumnaya from this heart right side heart sushumnaya yoga shastra prasiddhaya nadya that nadi which is most very well popular in yoga shastras yoga shastreshu prasiddha bhagwan shankaracharya speaks like this yoga shastreshu prasiddha very very well known those who are following yoga shastra that the heart from the sushumna is the one of the nadis urdha nadi which is going up and it is going from the heart to sahasrara nadi is non physical it is not to be translated as a nerve nor a vein neither it is a vein nor it is a nerve nadi is very very subtle and non physical actually now through nadi what is a nadi nadis are at different level physical level vein nerve but at the internal level it is they are called insulators of prana sometimes at the pranic level at the pranic level they are called insulators of prana subtle level it is not physical so nadi is a insulator of prana through that nadi prana flows nadi itself is non physical and through that nadi which is an insulator like the cable is an insulator for the copper wire inside the plastic one right inside the cable there is a plastic the copper wire but in the copper wire flows the electricity so copper wire is facilitating the flow of electricity it is covered by the cable made up of plastic non conductor now this nadi is situated at this subtler levels of our koshas through which the prana shakti flows and the prana itself is facilitating the flow of light 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 is the light flows here light rays spread so very deep it is so they facilitate the light so the nadi is very subtle they facilitate the, a channel it is like a channel 
through which the light travels i am using word which you can understand so the light travels so out of all the 101 mukhya nadis so ek shatam ekam sahasra nadiya so mean 72000 nadis are there out of which mukhya 101 out of which one nadi from the heart it goes to sahasrara it is called sushumna nadi now nadi means you understand what i said now it is too subtle so that nadi which is prasiddha in yoga shastreshu so that so therefore for the light to travel prana is the medium prana is the subtle prana for prana ka sanchar for the movement of prana so it is actually not the blood flowing it is a prana inside the blood which flows when the flow of prana stops the blood flow stops so it is not the blood movement blood circulation implies what is that carrying the blood the prana so this how many nadis are there as so many rays of pranas are there in our sukshma sharira at what one level i will not typically not using certain words deliberately so the so that this these nadis are there now these nadis are like white silvery threads white silvery threads so the they are the ones which are actually but now that nadi the flow and prana if it is adulterated because the, the the prana is influenced by the thought thought is conditioned by this vasanas and karma so it's a big trail so i will not go into all that subject now which very deep it is so prana is understand it is not the physical nadi number 1 they are like a they are insulators of prana the prana is carrying that still inside that prana the jyoti is traveling the light the light light rays no light rays travel so they are traveling therefore he says nadya yoga shastra prasiddhya prasiddhaya nadya sahasraram murdhani chakram sitam chakram murdhani sitam chakram sahasrar chakram jyotihi pravahati the light travels so which is nadi through nadi the light is traveling nadis are again they are not physical i told you in rajesh next explanation so light is traveling from the heart the heart is on the right side so there is a like a torchlight beam from the heart torchlight beam is only for visualization there is one nadi through that the one light ray passes up towards sahasrara right what happens then pravahati hrudayat prasthitam jnanatmakam jyotihi it is the light of knowledge that flows jnanatmakam jyotihi means effulgence the effulgence of knowledge the light of knowledge flows from sushumna through sushumna from the heart spiritual heart which is on the right side of the chest not the organ pumping heart not the anahata chakra jyotihi this gnanatmakam jyotihi sushumnaya dwara shirasi sahasraram prapya vyapriyate so through that sushumna nadi from the heart it pours up and vyapriyate 
it just it expands and it starts operating functioning this light so from this this light goes from the heart to the sahasrara chakra through sushumna nadi what is sahasrara chakra crown chakra yoga shastra muladhara swadishtana manipura anahata vishuddha agnya sahasrara chakra so this sahasrara chakra is 1000 petaled lotus it goes there now so therefore tasmat prabhati jyotihi sahasraram sushumnaya now so remember i just want to recall who wrote these shlokas skavya kanta ganapati mun shastri who said this about hrudaya vidya ramana maharishi so it is not kavya kanta ganapati mun is thought it is bhagwan ramana maharishi who was speaking one day on his own on the night of that august month 1970 so he spoke on his own and this shlokas format was composed by gavya kanta ganapati muni which was seen by bhagwan ramana maharishi and accepted it otherwise they would not have any guts to publish this book it was brought out when bhagwan ramana maharshi was there in the form of shlokas first so in 1918 717 to 18 discussions took place after 28 38 after 25 years or so 26 years or so this kapala shastriya wrote the sanskrit commentary expanding the teachings of ramana maharshi he wrote a commentary on sanskrit showed to guruji ramana bhagwan ramana maharishi got it approved by him the commentary because 3 days bhagwan ramana maharishi heard the commentary at only one place he corrected it so otherwise he approved this commentary so that commentary we are studying why i said all this because aapke माइंड में माइंड से ज्यादा खोपड़ी में <laughs> ये एक विचार आ सकता है हमें तो ऐसा पढ़ा ही नहीं आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू यूर नॉलेज इज नॉट प्रमाण नंबर वन यूर इग्नोरेंस इज नॉट स्टैंडर्ड नो दर हमारे इग्नोरेंस के हिसाब से हमने कभी नहीं सुना ये सब गुरुदेव कभी नहीं बताया नॉट हेट सोल्ड यू नो यू डिड नॉट टेल दैट्स इट वी नवर स्टडीड इन वेदांत i told you again because your your knowledge and your ignorance is not praman to wo naap ke hum nahi jaate hain so this is what said now therefore this is approved by bhagwan ramana maharshi so this commentary also was read by bhagwan ramana maharshi shloka also was read by ramana maharshi ramana maharshi himself said this so he was a master of yoga therefore he started speaking so shraddha se sun lena don't uh, uh, because mind has a very peculiar feeling whatever i know and whatever i don't know between i know i am comfortable with and i don't know i am not comfortable with i justify what i know i reject what is not comfortable for me to understand the mind plays a game there ego plays a game then you judge you discard you criticize you become judgmental somehow mind doesn't want to learn new things mind says i don't want be happy with what you are bas kafi hai if this thought has come that means mind is resisting to understand resisting to know resisting to explore the teachings you may not follow this path you need not follow bhagwan ramana maharishi's enquiry path you need not follow but we have no business to say ye sab bakwas hai ek ab socha nahi dekha nahi you can see it 
ఇఫ్ యు ఆర్ యోగి యూ కెన్ సీ ఇట్ ఇన్ రమణ మహాభారతం యుధిష్ఠిరజీ క్లియర్లీ సే మీన్ భీష్మాచార్య టెల్స్ టు యుధిష్ఠిర వెరీ క్లియర్లీ దట్ యోగీస్ క్లియర్లీ సీ ద సటల్ బాడీ లీవింగ్ ద గ్రాస్ బాడీ అట్ ద టైమ్ ఆఫ్ డెత్ ద జీవా లీవింగ్ ద బాడీ యోగీస్ కెన్ సీ therefore um don't be so comfortable with your own uh, zones of understanding explore challenge the new realms of knowledge and follow your path okay this explanation is requ- required or not required now బికాస్ ఫర్దర్ అవర్ కుచ్ బి ఆర్ ఐ కంటిన్యూయింగ్ సేమ్ థాట్ సో హార్ట్ ఈజ్ రైట్ సైడ్ దట్ రైట్ సైడ్ హార్ట్ త్రూ సుషుమ్న పంపింగ్ ద జ్ఞాన జ్యోతి అప్ అండ్ దట్ జ్యోతి ఈజ్ రీచింగ్ సహస్రార ఓకే తప్ప క్యా హోగా అప్ దేఖియే సర్వం దేహం సహస్రారాత్ తదా లోకానుభూత ప్రపశ్యన్ విభేదేన సంసారీ మనుజో భవేత్ సర్వం దేహం సహస్రారాత్ తదా లోకానుభూత ప్రపశ్యన్ విభేదేన samsari manujo bhavet now what is happening this light is going and reaching head it occupies whole sahasrara from sahasrara what is happening it occupies the whole body that light it from the heart it is goes to sahasrara from sahasrara it flows down to every cell of the body all through the body the light is flowing okay what is happening that light what does that light is now just see let us see the commentary tad jyoti hi that light which light that light which is emerging from the heart heart means right side through sushumna nadi which is that jyoti సహస్రారాత్ ఫ్రమ్ సహస్రారాత్ సర్వం దేహం ప్రవహతి ఇట్ ఫ్లోస్ ఇన్ టువర్డ్స్ ఎంటైర్ బాడీ ఓకే ఇది పూర్వశ్లోకేన అన్వయ సో దట్ ఇస్ టు బి జా కనెక్టెడ్ విత్ ప్రీవియస్ శ్లోక హ్యావింగ్ రీచ్డ్ సహస్రారా ద లైట్ వాట్ డస్ ఇట్ డూ ఇట్ ఫ్లోస్ డౌన్ అండ్ ఆక్యుపైస్ ద హోల్ బాడీ దట్ లైట్ ఓకే తదా దెన్ హృదయాత్ సుసుమ్నయా సహస్రారం ప్రాప్య తస్మాత్ సర్వం దేహం వ్యాప్య జ్ఞానాత్మకే జ్యోతిషి ప్రవహతి సతి ఓన్లీ వెన్ ద లైట్ ఎమర్జింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ ద హార్ట్ త్రూ సుషోమ్న ట్రావెల్స్ టు సహస్రార from sahasrara it expands and occupies the whole body then alone sati means if that happens sati when they flow light flows loka anubhutaya then alone one can experience the loka of different objects loka anubhutaya takes place what ప్రాపంచిక అనుభూతయ జాయంత ఇది శేష లోక్యంతే దృశ్యంతే లోక మీన్స్ అనుభూతి సో ద వరల్డ్లీ ఎక్స్పీరియన్సెస్ దెన్ ఎ లోన్ టేక్స్ ప్లేస్ సో దట్ లైట్ హ్యాస్ టు ట్రావెల్ ఆక్యుపై త్రూ ఎవ్రీ సెన్స్ ఆర్గాన్ ఎవ్రీ లింబ్ ఎవ్రీ సెన్స్ ఆర్గాన్ ఇట్ హ్యాస్ టు ఎక్స్ప్రెస్ ఎక్స్పాండ్ అండ్ ఆక్యుపై సపోర్ట్ ఎవ్రీ సెల్ బిహైండ్ ద బాడీ ఇన్ ద బాడీ then alone it is it has to pervade the every cell that light 
then alone i get the worldly experiences what is worldly experience seeing smelling tasting touching hearing then all is possible so i can go little deviate and take you to anatomy and physiology all that but i don't want to do it right now so when that light is obstructed reasons are plenty in its flow to a particular location of the body or to a particular organ that organ becomes dysfunctional or partially functional think that is why to i'm just telling you one or two it's a big otherwise i it will go into so many subject that is why to activate that flow of light which is carried by the prana throughout the body that chaitana that that light effulgence from the brain to carry that throughout the nadis through nadis 72000 nadis and sub nadis it reaches every cell they are all called in uh, acupuncture language meridian points so they try to activate try to remove the blocks in the flow of that light which is that light light is at lower level it is called as a because light is flowing through the conscious because prana is flowing prana is flowing in, within within that prana this light is flowing so they ensured that light is reaching everywhere it's a big subject anyway that is the health and all so first of all then only loka anubhuta yah takes place because this light is occupying a, a pervading the eyes ears no stung skin then alone i can get that particular experience of seeing smelling tasting touching and hearing etc so therefore loka anubhutaya prapanchika anubhutaya jayanta iti sheshah tata taha mean those these ta those loka anubhutihi bhutihi vibhedena prathak bhavena bhed buddhya ityartah now this loka anubhuti is this light when it is functioning through the body and sense organs it is creating a division division of experiences that this is object of this is one one object this is another object this can be smelt this can be touched this can be tasted some objects give you joy only when you eat some objects give you joy only when you hear sound you cannot touch sound you can satisfy only by hearing you are quite contented rasagulla is not satisfied by seeing or smelling and touching and tasting you have to so this division is created in experiences different experiences are created divided therefore bheda buddhi buddhya ityartha so by this bheda buddhi through this bhut bheda buddhi the i am experiencing different objects of experience which is with with a division i created a division in my experiences okay prapashyan bilokamano vilokamano means vividham lokamano means loka means anubhava lokamano means anubhava gnya vilokamano the one who is experiencing all kinds of experiences divided experiences manujaha vilokamano one who is going is called manujaha samsari bhavet he becomes a samsari
so who is the samsari who sees division because various experiences are created and i am tossed by those experiences this is di- a is different from b b is different from c c is different from d experience d is different from e etc so samsari bhavet c mola shlokam taha prapashyan vibhedena manujah samsari bhavet which that light is pervading and that light is expanding occupying the whole body from the sahasrara again that light comes out <clears throat> so the it's like a beam um I, instead of torch example i don't know how much you are you know but the properties you have to study it's like a laser beam laser light it doesn't spread it goes in one flow you read the laser beam properties go and google it out the properties of laser beam are different from the properties of the ordinary light that is why laser beam light is used as a pointer so that the light doesn't disperse light light doesn't scatter it doesn't get scattered the way it is released from the laser beam torch laser torch if i can use it that word it goes in same way into infinity similarly this is a very unique laser beam from the heart so sumna but once it reaches sahasrara it expands it expands the whole sahasrara aur bhi aage bahut kuch hai the from there it trickles down and expands whole body because of that through sense organs i am experiencing the world in five different ways in what how many ways i can experience the world the physical world in five different ways not through mind and intellect physically either i hear see smell touch taste etc so the vibhedena created samsari bhavet now bhed bahulan indriyarthan bhed bahulan indri indriyarthan objects there are so many because of so many objects are available in the world all objects are experienced meaning whatever in the vicinity so bahulan indriyarthan tad ayattan laukika anu laukikan anubhavan so those very varieties of objects and those objects bring tad ayattan the experiences which are brought by those different different objects to this heaven every, every object is giving different experience so that ayattan lokagan anubhavan pashyan looking at those different types of experiences because every object gives me a different experience so all those experiences pashyan purushah samstruti bhranto bhavati he gets deluded and gets caught up in samsara why the bhranti is like you know vacharambanam vikaro namadeya murtiketyava satyam gold alone is the truth ornaments are not truth but i get caught up in the ornaments ye boat design acha hai ah uh, we are caught up in that the moment i see gold i am not fascinated i don't get deluded by any ornament in the world but i don't see gold no i see only the nama and roopa i don't see the essence therefore i get deluded then samsruto bhranto bhavati ha bhranto bhavati now jnana jyotishah moolasthanam avignaya sahasraram praptasya pumsah tasya dehatma bhava sadhakasya bheda drushti sampadakasya vashankat vashankatatvat 
ವಶಂಕತತ್ವಾದಿ ಭಾವ ನ ದಟ್ ಜ್ಞಾನಜ್ಯೋತಿಷೋ ಮೂಲಸ್ಥಾನ ಅವಿಜ್ಞಾಯ ವೈ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಫಂಡಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಕಾಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ನೋಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಲೈಟ್ ಮೂಲಸ್ಥಾನ ವೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೆಟ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಎವ್ರಿ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಗಾನ್ ದ ಲೈಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಎಮರ್ಜಿಂಗ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಲೋಬ್ಸ್ ಐ ಎಲ್ ಫೀಲ್ ದಟ್ ಸಾಕೆಟ್ಸ್ ಐ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಶ್ರವಣೇಂದ್ರಿಯ ಸೇಮ್ ಲೈಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಈಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಂಗ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದಿ ಐಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ನಯನೇಂದ್ರಿಯ ಸೇಮ್ ಲೈಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನಿಂಗ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಮೌತ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ರಸನೇಂದ್ರಿಯ ಸೇಮ್ ಲೈಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನಿಂಗ್ ಥ್ರೂ ನೋಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಘ್ರಾಣೇಂದ್ರಿಯ ಸೇಮ್ ಲೈಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನಿಂಗ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಸ್ಕಿನ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಟಚ್ ಸ್ಪರ್ಶೇಂದ್ರಿಯ ಸೊ ಲೈಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿವೈಡಿಂಗ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಬಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಸಿಟಿ ಫಂಕ್ಷನಿಂಗ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಫ್ಯಾನ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೂವ್ಸ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಸಿಟಿ ಫಂಕ್ಷನಿಂಗ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಮಿಕ್ಸಿ ಇಟ್ ಡಸ್ ಅನದರ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಸೊ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ವೈ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಕಾಟ್ ಅಪ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ನೋಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಜ್ಯೋತಿಷ ಮೂಲಸ್ಥಾನ ಅವಿಜ್ಞಾಯ ನೋ ದ ಮೂಲಸ್ಥಾನ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಗೋ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ಸಹಸ್ರಾರ ಚಕ್ರ ಓ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಸಹಸ್ರಾರ ಬಟ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಗೋ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ವೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಮೂಲಸ್ಥಾನ ಹೃದಯ ಸೊ ಅವಿಜ್ಞಾಯ ಸಹಸ್ರಾರ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ತ ಪುಂಸಃ ಪುಂಸಃ ದೇಹಾತ್ಮಭಾವ ಸಾಧಕ ಸಹಸ್ರಾರ ದಿಸ್ ಲೈಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ರೀಚ್ ದ ಹೆಡ್ ದಿ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ದೇಹಾತ್ಮಭಾವ ಸಾಧಕ ಭೇದದೃಷ್ಟಿ ಸಂಪಾದಕ ವಶತತ್ವಾತ್ ಇ ಭಾವ ಸೊ ಈಸ್ ಎನ್ಸ್ಲೇವ್ಡ್ ಇಸ್ಕೆ ವಶ್ ಮೇ ಪಡಗೆ ಕಿಸ್ಕೆ ವಶ್ ಮೇ ಭೇದ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ಕೆ ವಶ್ ಮೇ ಪಡಗೆ ಸೊ ಈಸ್ ಅವಿಜ್ಞಾಯ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ನೋನ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಎ ಸಂಸಾರಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಗೆಟ್ ಕಾಟ್ ಅಪ್ ಎನ್ಸ್ಲೇವ್ಡ್ in the worldly experiences or uh, in the midst of worldly objects i enslaved got enslaved by them because the light is divided 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 and each light passing falling on illumining each object is giving me different experiences so i thought those experiences are real so i am fascinated but i don't know that because of which the object is visible the source of the light i don't know therefore iti bhavah prakashakam deepam apashyan purushah prakashita arthan grahnan iva no a person is there hmm? so prakashita prakashakam deepam praka prakashita arthan grahnan now there is a beautiful uh, now in a room there is a light light in the center of the room a big light is fixed bulb so the moment you enter into the light okay what do we see because of that light i can see all the objects in the room so the moment i enter into a hotel room what do you see the moment the lock is kept in that uh, socket <laughs> key there is no because of saving electricity and all kept there immediately light drop what do you see how the bed is where the fridge is where the tv is where the kursi is where the table is whether the bathroom is washed and kept clean or not whether this is there or not ವಾಟರ್ ಬಾಟಲ್ ಕಹಾಂ ಹೈ ಚಾಯ್ ಕೆ ಪತ್ತಿ ಕಹಾ ರಖಾ ದರ್ ಬಾ ದಟ್ ಕೆಟಲ್ ವರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಾಲ್ಕನಿ ಹೈ ಕಿ ನೈ ಕುರ್ ಕ ಪರ್ ಪರ್ದಾ ನಿಕಾಲ ಕೆ ದೇಖತೆ ಬಾಹರ್ ಕ್ಯಾ ದಿಕ್ತ ಹೈ ನಾವು ಆರ್ ಯು ಸೀಂಗ್ ದ ಲೈಟ್ ನೋ ವಿ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಸಿ ದ ಲೈಟ್ ಸೊ 
we see all that is illumined by light we ignore the light so a person who sees all the objects illumined by the light but he doesn't see the light similarly this purusha so prakashakam deepam apashyan purusha prakashita arthan gruhana niva jnan jyoti hi mool sthanam apashyan what is the source of this jnan jyoti that light because of which it's something here a unique light that consciousness very interesting that light when it is illumining an object suppose through eyes that light is functioning through my eyes very interesting what is that light which is functioning through going when that light goes through the eyes a unique capacity that light has got to reveal the form we don't actually it's a wonder but you know i don't treat it as a wonder because i think it's quite uh, obvious it's a wonder interesting that light when it is going through ejecting out through the ear it is listening to the sounds in fact it's a wonder how the consciousness and the body can be together because the very identification itself is a mystery how this the formless matterless spirit can be clothed by matter आप ना ये शास्त्र पढ़ पढ़ के ना आपके दिमाग में ना मैकेनिकल मैकेनाइज स्टेटमेंट्स ओनली फ्लैश मैकेनिकल वी डोंट वंडर एट इट मैकेनिकल 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 एंड दैट मैकेनिकल थॉट वी कंसीडर इट एज विजडम बकवास वी डोंट थिंक so the light i am not seeing the source of light in the light i am only caught up in the object similarly jnana jyoti mula sthanam apashyan tad deepita sahasrara dwara prakashitan lokan alokan loka anubhavan grihnati iti artah so not seeing the source of light i got caught up by experiencing that all those objects illumined by the sahasrara light sahasrara light where it has got from the heart so that sahasrara light is sharira vyapya because if that light is not there i cannot experience suppose that light is only in sahasrara Uh, withdrawn from all sense organs and light is only in sahasrara but not functioning in any part of the body and that's it's called sometimes it is called in neurology it is called locked in state where except eyes no limb of the body functions hands legs speech everything is closed so only eyes work and ears work smell of course but he cannot karmendriya zero function only gyanendriya's function eyes function nose functions 
ears function taste of course and touch gets but he cannot do anything he cannot talk karmendriya is out there is something called junction box in the brain with the junction may fuse ho jata hai na for whatever certain reason adhi becomes like that that means the light is not flowing anywhere now functioning for karma indriyas and sometimes for a particular gyan indriya also it withdraws so he cannot hear he cannot see and slowly indriyas also withdrawn so that light is withdrawn from the body parts and slowly getting focused only in the brain the brain center and slowly he goes and leaves the body that's one one type of leaving the body one type of leaving the body one way that means the light when it is not occupying the whole body pervading the body cannot function सो देर फोर तीपित सहस्रारा द्वारा प्रकाशिता लोका लोकानुभवान् गृहनाति सो देर फोर द लाइट एस्ट विथ सहस्रारा सहस्रारा एस्ट स्प्रेड होल बॉडी देन अलोन द लोकानुभूति टेक्स प्लेस ओके सो तथा प्रपश्यन विभेदेन संसारी मनुजो भवे न तरी दे हृदयस्त कीदृश सहस्रारम दृश्यत नव द ब्यूटिफुल पॉइंट नौ वाट ईज दि पर्सपन ऑफ दि सहस्रार फॉर ए मैन हू ईज एस्टाब्लिश्ड इन द हार्ट लाइक रमण महर्षि वन हू ईज सीटेड इन द हार्ट दे डोट कम आउट because they have understood i am hrt this is me who is me i am hrudayam i am not in the heart i am the heart heart is a throbbing consciousness so one who is established there how does he look at sahasrara chakra to him how the sahasrara appears and for an ignorant man how sahasrara appears this is the next topic if you are interested you can come tomorrow oh purnamada purnamidam purnat purnavachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnamevavashashyate om shanti 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 hari om shri gurubhyo namaha हरि ओम सद्गुरुनाथ महाराज की जय